you've probably heard people say, just tell ChatGPT to act like an expert. But how much does that actually matter on your results? And what if we could multiply the value and the impact that we create with ChatGPT by creating our own board of advisors? And what I wanna do is in this video, share with you how I created my board of advisors that allows me to consistently create the highest capacity results, and you can too. And let me share my screen right here and show the end results first, and then secondarily, I'll show you why this is important. So what I designed here is what I call Rob's Ultimate Board of Advisors, and this is the list of experts that I will use every single time I use ChatGPT for specific use cases. So what was important for me is I thought about what are the things that I am creating with ChatGPT the most often in my business? So this can be things from innovation and AI. I want Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, vision and identity, Ed Milet. When I'm talking about business scale and we got Reed Hastings, all the way to content offers and copywriting, Alex Ramosi, or funnels and sales psychology, Russell Brunson. Because what I did not want is just the generic act like a social media expert. Instead, what I want it to be is act like Ed Milet, my world-class coach every single time. That way I know when I'm using ChatGPT, I'm doing so at the absolute highest level. So you can design this own board of advisors for yourself as well, and it's nice and simple. Number one, just tell ChatGPT, these are the use cases that I use ChatGPT the most in my business. And then number two, hey, who would be a great expert for this? And then number three, I actually recommend you start the list of here's who's on my mind. So what created this for me was a simple inquiry where I've often used Ed Milet as my world-class coach. And there's three different things that I want to unpack. What's the difference between, number one, if I do nothing, I just do a prompt. Number two, I act as my future self. Or number three, I have it act as if it's Ed Milet. Because I know in chat GBT, everything matters. So what it says here is the who you instruct chat GBT to be when you prompt directly shapes the depth, the quality, and the resonance of the output. So we are correct that yes, this does matter that you task it with who the expert is that it is defaulting back to you. So number one, if you do not assign something, it's just gonna be a middle of the road, best buy out of the box version. If you have it act as your world-class coach like Ed Milet, it's gonna be more decisive, visionary, bold, and heart-driven. So it's going to embody his essence. Or number three, if I act as future version of Rob, it would be more deeply aligned to my vision. That's great, but I'm often creating in a way where I want expert knowledge for a specific use case there. So you can see right here, it breaks us down. Default GBT, default world. This should have alarm bells going off in your head. If you're not tasking it with this is who I want you to be, you're just getting the default version. When you say, hey, act as my world-class coach, Ed Milet, now you're getting the P performance world. And if you act as the future version of yourself, we have the realized version of this. And with this, the next level is how much do custom instructions matter and what about memory? And with this, the custom instructions are who you are and what you expect. The memory is what you are building. So yes, what it ends up saying right here, the truth for you and your clients, custom instructions equals static elevation, memory equals dynamic expansion, and the prompt identity equals the immediate operating lens. So with this, you can see here's how I started. I want to build what I call my board of advisors, a world-class carefully curated list of experts that I add to prompts to maximize the ceiling because remember, we're all about capacity, bigger, best, world-class in how we're using ChatGPT. For this, I wanna keep this simple. I don't want 100 advisors, I just want a simple list based on the use cases that I'm using. For example, here's who's on my mind. Ed Milet, my world-class coach, 
Gary Vaynerchuk for social media, some other people to consider. Doesn't mean it needs to be them, but here's who I'm considering. Sam Altman, Elon Musk, Jesse Itzler, Andy Frisella, Steve Jobs, Mark Cuban. You can immediately see based on the people that I chose, the level that I'm operating on. And then based on this, it's sort of drilled down here on, all right, where would each of these be a good fit for them? And I liked this and it even created this quick reference table, but I didn't want people who have multiple areas. I wanted to be very specific, like Gary Vee, great for social media. So this is when I come here, I want this simpler. Based on all our conversations, what are the high level categories that I talk about the most? So I had Chad GBT mirror to me, hey Rob, this is what you're talking about the most here. And then based on those categories, who would be the ideal best advisors there? and it used my list and that's not what I actually wanted it to create. So with this, I explored this a little bit further down to here. And I said, here's the list of what I think I use ChatGPT for the most. Copywriting, business funnel building, free to paid conversion, business decision making, boom. So now it started to bucket these better for me. Simple operating rule. If it's about messaging and frameworks and offers, Alex Ramosi. So do you see how I'm getting so specific and selling myself on why these people are my advisors? And then here's the last little nugget for you. Are there any holes or blind spots on my board of advisors? Someone who, if I added them, it would massively serve me based on what I'm building. I don't want to force this. I want to be strategic in this. So we already have Ed Milet, Reed Hastings, Sam Altman, Alex Ramosi, Russell Brunson, and Seth Godin. We cover this, but here are some strategic additions. And this is what I ended up with my finalized one. Keith Cunningham, and I don't even know who he is, but he's the mentor to Tony Robbins. Immediately, I'm like, I'm about to read this book. We got Gina Bianchini, the CEO of Mighty Networks, that we use Mighty Networks in weareunlimited.ai, our number one AI community for entrepreneurs. And then brand differentiation, Christopher Lockheed, I don't know him, but once again, if this is what ChatGPT is mirroring to me, boom, here we go. So this is what it did, and this is how we got the final list right here. So my recommendation for you is if you want to take the structure of what you're building with ChatGPT to the next level, where you're using it like you're building out your own AI operating system, instead of just saying, act like a social media expert, create your board of advisors and say, act as Gary Vaynerchuk, my world-class coach and advisor, and it will immediately give you the best, highest capacity results that you humanly can. Or not even humanly can, you can, period. And this becomes set it and forget it. You do it once, now I don't have to think about it because I've got my list of board of advisors. This is all captured into my chat GBT memory as well. So this becomes the gift that keeps on giving. So I would love to hear from you. When you create your board of advisors, drop in the comments who is on that list and what are the use cases that you are using them for. And if you enjoyed this video, then share this with a friend who needs to hear this. I feel like it's our obligation as leaders when we see something that we like in the world of AI, share it with someone that can also get benefit from this. And oh, by the way, if you're someone who wants to dive deeper into the world of AI, then I would love to have a conversation with you. You can hit me up, Rob at robcressy.com. Sending tons of love and good vibes your way. Hope you have yourself an amazing rest of the day.